The new innovative concept of Tesla is their electric bike project. Some of the best ideas of Tesla and Elon Musk come as tweets, Q&A moments, and interviews and podcast answers. So people take everything Elon Musk says seriously. In 2018, when Elon answered questions in a discussion about his company and his vision for America, he moved the conversation to scooters and bicycles. An electric bicycle was only a thought at that moment. Elon Musk at the interview was speaking about how scooters were not on his radar. And the next thing, he mentioned a possibility of an electric bicycle. Many people carried the news at first, but since Elon Musk says many things, the excitement died down a little. Now we are back to having a view of the e-bike from Tesla. In December 2020, there were renewed pockets of excitement over the internet as we discovered a futuristic silhouette for the pilot version of an electric bike. Tesla's e-bike is a safe bike with an autopilot with forwarding, side, and rear-facing radar. The bicycle will have cameras and sensors will scan the area and inform the rider of impending danger long before it approaches. It is a safety bubble. The bike has a sleek frame design fold-out fortress with handlebars that don't move like traditional bikes. The wheels are each equipped with a separate motor. The dual drive system for this electric bike is the first ever to be produced. The wheels are also stuffed with shock absorbers to make riding much more enjoyable and effortless. Another remarkable design fact is that the bike does not turn by physically dragging it in a direction. The rider puts pressure on one side of the handle and the bike turns toward that side. The sensors can tell where the pressure is mounting and then take that road. Yes, you have guessed right after this point, the steering and handlebars do not move. It is pretty surprising how no one has ever thought of changing the steering process of a bike until now. Since it is a Tesla, we know that we are guaranteed a dashboard. The tiny screen gives route metrics and navigating maps. We anticipate some security features from Tesla. As is always jokingly said, stolen Tesla cars drive themselves with the car robber to the police station. It is not going to be surprising that everyone expects electric bikes to be theft resistant. The GPS featured in the bike will trace it when there is an issue of theft. It is also possible that a rider cannot start the bike unless he interacts with the interface in a certain way. The Tesla Model B is the first electric bike for the brand. Industrial designer Kendall Torner developed the bike. The website of the industrial designer gives some reasons for people to refuse to use a ride. The designer notes that commuting on a bike can be intimidating because they are more vulnerable to cars, people, and objects. The biking process involves more physical effort and can be inaccessible for people living with some disabilities. There is also the talk of cars traveling a longer distance and projecting a certain status. So these new bicycles are expected to trash all those things. The imported bicycle industry of America keeps expanding even after former President Trump imposed ugly 25% tariffs on imported Chinese electronic bikes. As a trade war between the two countries, it made sense, but as a retail industry, that was hell. I guess that is where Elon Musk using manufacturing can come in handy. The industry is still short when it comes to American electric bike manufacturers. The imports are now costly, and although the bikes have become a recreational staple, no manufacturer is taking the chance to develop locally. A big part of this is the cost involved in everything else. So while the companies are US-owned, they prefer manufacturing in China. The supply chain of tooling, assembling, and workforce will not be as affordable as it is legal in China. The companies will be making bikes that cost four times to five times more than in China. That is the reason for overseas manufacturing. However, a company like Tesla could easily pull it off. The manufacturing capabilities for Tesla cars are not the best or even where the company wants them to be, but it can build many more bicycles if it decides to. The electric bicycles have already seen a design and advanced features, so transitioning that into production will be easy for Tesla. The many advanced battery cells that Tesla is developing will only be suitable for the new and improved bicycles. The bicycles available now have gone through many design changes. The new ones are sleek and much streamlined, but they use old motors. The 18650 battery cells are the same ones the China-assembled electric bikes use. 
The electric bikes moving around have not seen a wave of more powerful batteries in a long time. There seems to be an industry cap when it comes to electric bikes. This is why it will be good to have Tesla disrupt the industry and shake things up. The industry players need to wake up and smell the coffee. Tesla's nano battery technology and other high function batteries will make bike mileage insanely higher. The current battery life of two or three years is not in competition with what Tesla can do. These batteries that Tesla is making are less dense and have more battery power. That innovation can make bikes run for decades if they are coming from Tesla. Knowing the company's policy on sustainability and reusable things, we can only expect the best from them regarding design, battery, and motor power, and of course, market power. The company may use their current factories or build new sites from scratch and expand as the market grows. We know that Tesla's market grows regardless of what the product may be, and building a factory is the last thing to stand in between Tesla and making money. Some of the observations based on the Tesla design could mean that we may be seeing slimmer and more mobile bikes. The Tesla e-bikes are projected to be slimmer, make less sound, and even foldable. There are many more design concepts that are expected of Tesla. As a scooter is out of the question, it is expected that this will be a reality soon. The Tesla Energy Company has in recent times disclosed many ventures into sustainable energy beyond automobiles. The HVAC that Tesla intends to set up as an example of how nothing is too far from Tesla's reach. All Tesla fans are pumped up for this next phase of the Tesla journey. The original co-founder of Tesla Motors, J.B. Straubel, is partnering with an electric bike manufacturer to recycle electric bike batteries when running out of juice. Straubel's company, Redwood Materials, is looking at ways to treat these batteries after their lifespan in two to four years. The electric bike manufacturers, Specialized, say that the bike is meant to last forever. However, their batteries don't. Redwood Materials has been recycling electric car batteries since 2017. They are partnered with Nissan, Amazon, and Tesla supplier Panasonic. The company takes out components like nickel, cobalt, and copper from these old batteries and then integrates them back into the production of new batteries. With the boom of electric bikes in the United States, it is a no-brainer that Redwood is on the right track. Many bike batteries are going to need recycling soon. When Tesla gets into the game, the Nevada-based company will even have more work on its hands. Is it a good thing that they are not so far from Gigafactory Nevada? Do you think Tesla should produce electric bikes? If you could get a Tesla electric bike, would you slow down on the use of your car? Please join the conversation in the comments section below.